Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the difference between a private album and secure folder. Now, a private album, this is something that you're able to turn on inside of your gallery, just in the normal portion of your Samsung phone. Now, secure folder, this is where you can have a completely other end of your Samsung phone. It could be right here, this is your personal side of the device. This is where you have all of your personal applications, all of your contacts, the pictures, everything like that. And then inside of your secure folder, maybe that is your business portion of your phone. It could be your business contacts, your calendar, your images. It could also just be pictures you just wanna hide inside of the gallery of secure folder to where it's just another portion of your Samsung phone on the back end and not even a part of your normal gallery. Maybe it's something for Valentine's ideas or Christmas shopping or something like that. So these two things are completely different. Now this video, I am using this Galaxy S24 Ultra right here because this is not my personal device, but I just don't have either of these two features set up yet. The Galaxy S25 Ultra, I already have these going. I use these things regularly. So I wanna show you how you're able to get everything set up from ground zero. Now, private album, this is just where you're able to just have any pictures or videos or whatever on a private side of your gallery. So you don't need to go inside of your secure folder to get this going. You can just use it right here inside of your normal gallery app. So again, this could be something for Christmas shopping. It could be ideas for Valentine's. It could just be screenshots uh, or it just could just be anything that you just don't want on your personal side of the phone. It doesn't really matter what that is. You know, you just don't want it to be shown up right here and you want it to be behind a little bit of a of a wall, you know, that is behind another fingerprint or behind another password. So you just go right inside of your gallery on the bottom right hand side, you tap on menu, then you go to settings. Now inside of settings, you'll go all the way down to about gallery. And this is where you tap on the version number like uh, six or seven times. Now that you have tapped the version number like six or seven times, you'll get that notification that you have unlocked gallery labs and it's sitting right there on the very bottom. Now, if you don't know exactly where we're sitting right now, it's just inside of the normal menu and you go inside of settings. So now that you have unlocked gallery labs, you just open this up and then you turn on your private album. Now, another thing I'll just share real quick, turn on the, the search tab because currently inside of the gallery search is just on the top, but you can actually have its own tab towards the bottom, which makes it easier to use with one hand. But this is where you turn on a private album. Now, anytime that you make any changes with any type of labs, you always close out of that application, you open it back up, and then now you'll have the private album option. And right there, you can see that search is now a tab on the very bottom rather than a search on the very top. Now, in order for you to use your private album, you go inside of menu, then you go to private album right there. So this is just where you set up your screen lock on the device. So you'll always be asked anytime you open up private album. So you just go right there, go inside of settings, and let's turn on screen lock. And for this demo, I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And they do suggest to put in at least six numbers. It's just better than four. And then confirm pin without tapping OK. This just means that if you want the OK to be shown and then you tap that, then it'll unlock. This just means that once you put in the correct amount of digits and it's the correct password, it'll just unlock automatically. So if you want it to even be more secure because they maybe didn't know if they even typed in the right amount of digits or even the right code, they would never know because the okay is always gonna have to be tapped. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'll just do this. So I'm gonna hit on okay. I'm gonna use the pin anyways because it's letting me know that it's an easy one, but it's fine. It's just because of the sake of this video. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So now that we have the screen lock set up, let's go inside of the gallery, go to menu, go to private album. I'm gonna type in my pin. Again, this is something that you definitely need to use something different. And remember that option I said that it'll, it'll be able to unlock without tapping okay. That's exactly just what happens. Now there's nothing inside this album. Now, if there was something in this album, you can delete it. So all you would have to do is just go right inside of your camera or whatever you would like. You tap on anything and everything that you would like to move over into that private album. Once you have selected everything, you go to more and then you go right there and it says move to private album. So once you move it to the private album, those have been moved. It's not really a copy and a paste. It's just that it literally just moved it over. So now you have less images inside of your normal, you know, vision of your gallery right here that anybody can just open up the gallery if your phone was already unlocked. Now they're inside your gallery. Now, if they wanted to take a look at your private album, they tap on this, they would have to know your pin to get into it. Again, this is the biggest perk right here is that it's just behind another uh, security wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can see everything just sitting right there. Now, if there's any of these that you would like to restore 
back over onto the normal side of your phone, you can press any of these ones, go to move, and now it's moving it right back over into the normal internal storage, the normal gallery right here. You can see that they are all back, which I only just brought like, you know, two of them in here. So that right there is private album. And now let's take a look over inside of the secure folder. Now moving on to secure folder. So more than likely you'll be able to see your little icon right here inside of the quick settings. It's right there. It's called secure folder. Now, if you don't see it there, you can have this edit button and then you just go inside of here, you edit this and then you bring in secure folder to, you know, bring it to those quick settings. Now, again, let's say that you don't see it there either. You just go right there inside of your settings. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to scroll down to that security and privacy. Now underneath security and privacy, you're going to move down to more security settings and they're a secure folder. Now here's the thing. There's gonna be something I'll show you in about two seconds where it says that you can hide the secure folder. That just means that you have to go to this screen all the time inside of settings to get to it. So now that you know where a secure folder is, let's say that we pull this down, we have the quick settings. And if I was to tap on this one to turn it off, that means I'm going to hide the secure folder. That means it will not show up inside of my quick settings. And I have to go through everything that I just showed you, you know, through all of these settings options and the settings screens. So now that you know where you can find it, how you can also hide it and then where you can get it again, if it's hidden, you just press and hold on the, the private or the secure folder. You're going to put in your pin whatever the pin that you have set up. Now, here's the thing. What I like about this one is that this will be a different pin than what is set up on your phone. So I'm going to press in my code. Now, once I put in my code, my secure folder is now unlocked. Now there's a few settings that you can do on the very top. So this is where you can lock and exit. This is where you can hide secure folder. This is where you can add in some files from the normal side of your phone. This is where you can also customize it. So if you want it to look different, you can make it look completely different. So let's say I want it to be red and I want it to look like this. Again, you know, there is no red messaging app that I have, but it looks like a messaging app. You know, you can make it a star, whatever you want it to look like. You know, if you want it to look like the briefcase. So just go through, find it. I've been using the key quite a bit on some of my other devices. You know, I could use like an S for secure. Uh, here's that coffee. So this is one that just kind of blends in, right? So you can do like a green coffee. That means it's maybe your secure folder and you can even change the name of it. So uh, <laughs> let's, let's just go with, uh, um, we'll keep the word like secure in there. And then just for fun with the, the word play, we'll say like cream, secure cream, because maybe you put some cream inside of your, your coffee. Maybe that's not even a coffee. Maybe that's like a regular drink. Either way, you can change the name of it, change the color, change the icon. So now that you have done that and you have applied it, that's now what it's going to look like. And that's also the name. Now down over here, you can go inside of settings. Now, right there, this is your secure folder, uh, the lock and biometrics, you know, setup. This is where you set everything up. Again, it could be a different code than your lock screen, which again is very important to do. You can auto lock the secure folder. It used to be that immediately was an option, which means that it'll lock immediately after you're out of it. But uh, you can either set it up for a time, like maybe five minutes, but when the screen turns off, you know, that one's actually pretty, pretty easy. And, and I'll show you how quick, you know, it's able to be done. Then you can allow background activity while it's locked. So again, if you're using this for your work side of things, maybe your business, and you want to have all that activity still be running, all the applications running, all the notifications coming through, all that good stuff, then you want to turn this one on. Then you just go through your settings for your notifications, take a look at apps, which you can bring some in. You can learn about Galaxy AI, you can manage your accounts and so on and so forth. And you can just kind of play with this. And there's a few additional security settings, but I just wanted to show the main stuff here. Now, let's say that you're using your secure folder and you, you, you just turned off the screen. Well, that was one of the ways that you would be able to unlock your device. So here we are, we got that one, two, three, four, five, six. It got into the phone and I'm already locked out of my secure folder. So again, if you ever want to get back in, you just have to put in the, the, the code or however you set everything up inside of that secure folders options. So again, I'm gonna put in that code. Now, these are the applications that you have currently. You just hit the plus button if you want to bring more in. Now, private album is just only for pictures and videos. You can use this one for pictures and videos if you want it to be behind a additional security screen wall. Um, but this is where you can have more applications. So this is more of like a secondary phone or it's a business phone or you play games and you like to have multiple logins. Now, this is all of the, uh, you know, if you take pictures here, anything you take a picture of inside of your secure folder, everything is gonna stay here 
from this camera into that gallery. It does not go to your personal side. This is everything that you have used for internet on this side of the phone. All of your contacts that you have saved here is here and you can bring them over from the personal side of the phone. All of your files is here. Even your calendar is different. So on my other side of the private phone or the, the personal side of the phone, this thing could be completely full of my personal stuff. And then over in here, I can just put in some of my businessy stuff and I can add it in. And once it's here inside of that calendar, it's a different application. It's inside of this calendar here, not my personal side. Same thing with the notes. Anything that you write in here will not go on to the personal side. If you want to bring in applications, you hit the plus and then you can bring and you can tap all of these ones that you would like to move on over. And then you just add them in and it goes there. So let me show you what my personal side of the phone here or what my personal phone looks like with both of these set up. So, you know, if I go inside of my album over here, I have all of this stuff. If I go inside of private album, let's say that there was maybe some images I didn't want you guys to see in any of my videos. Maybe it's something I'm working on, like on the back end and I'm under NDA or something like that or whatever the case. Um, I can just put them right there inside of private album. Now, when it comes down over into the secure folder portion of it, I can just go right there, go into secure folder, get inside. And again, you can see mine was done there with my fingerprint and I have more applications. So I play Tune Blast, but I'd rather have more than one application of it so I can have a couple accounts. So on my one phone, I can play Tune Blast as two different people. Now here's another good idea when it comes down to your banking applications. Put your banking applications onto the secure folder. So this way you wouldn't even have to have your Bank of America or Chase or whoever you may have. It's not even on your personal side of the phone. Nobody even knows who you bank with. You're gonna put it over inside of your secure folder. Then you have your different login for YouTube over here. So. Uh, you know, if my son wants to watch YouTube, I don't want him to watch it on my other account because then his stuff will come into my feed. I can just open this one up and it's going to be his videos. So you can see that I did this with Pokemon Go to have a second account. My Pikmin Bloom is a second account. Toon Blast is a second account. Moved over my, my banking app that's over here. And then if I go inside of the gallery, the calendar, the contacts, all that stuff, all of that is my business side of the phone. So let's say that I go inside of the, the, the calendar here. There's nothing for my personal side of life right there. Uh, except for just something for business and it's just sitting right there. So this is the differences between secure folder as well as the uh, private album. Now, again, you can just go through here, take a look at some of your settings. Uh, but when it comes down to, um, you know, locking and exiting, you can lock and exit just like that by doing it manually, you know, at that point in time. Or how mine is set up is that uh, let's say that I'm inside of it and I go back, I use my phone, I'm doing anything and everything I want to do. Now, because you didn't lock it, if you go inside of your secure folder, um, press and hold, it's going to go right back inside of it. So this is where you just, you know, hit the power button, come right on back. And then now you are out of your secure folder uh, and nobody is able to get into it. So again, if I press and hold here, uh, I am locked out. So even though the immediately option is not there anymore, maybe they wanted people to go back and forth and back and forth to do something between personal side and business side, personal side and business side. That's probably why. And then once you hit your side key to turn off the display and turn it back on, then it gets locked. But that is the differences between your private album and secure folder. But hope you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.